So we're day 19 of post-hysterectomy surgery and I just got back from my doctor. I woke up having some bleeding today um, and a lot of pain in my abdomen. Um, not sure if this is a UTI that's returning or if this is something else or if it's just um, a part of the healing process. I don't really know, but it doesn't feel right. So I was able to get into my doctor um, this morning. We're waiting on my urine analysis that I did yesterday and we did some swabs today just to rule out any infection and just make sure that everything's being checked pretty thoroughly. Um, while I was there, my doctor asked me kind of what I've been um, doing for my activity and um, what my mood was like and I I told her my mood has been down definitely um, I haven't been in the best of moods um, and that on Monday my husband went back to work and I've sort of resumed daily activities in the house cleaning and taking care of the kids and she told me that I need to be resting and that's it um, no cleaning um, I should find care for the kids when my husband returns back to work he's he's home um, until next Monday um, he had some annual days to to use um, but I need to be doing pretty much nothing um, on the couch relaxing um, and taking it really easy and that made me get really emotional I feel like two weeks was more than enough for me to like lay around I guess you would say um, and not do anything um, I started to feel a little bit better so now it's time to get back on my feet and do things and help out with the family help the kids and I just there's no more time for me and my doctor reminded me today that this was this is major surgery whether it feels like it or we think it or not this is major surgery and um, recovery is anywhere from from six to eight weeks and that at least for the next couple of weeks I need to really take it easy and give my body what it needs and it was really refreshing to hear that from somebody um, especially a doctor because um, I had seen uh, another doctor a few days ago when I went in for my UTI and I sort of asked her about like how much should I be doing and she told me I should be back into my full normal routine just no lifting um, and that was about a week ago so um, I assumed I felt a little bit better and that that is what I should be doing and that's that's not I am I don't know that doctor um, I've never seen her before um, but I I've been with my doctor for nearly two years now and I trust her I trust her opinion um, and this is what she's telling me and this is what I feel is is what I need to do it's just difficult to do it um, especially when you feel like you're a very motivated person who likes to be doing things and accomplishing things and being social and getting outside and when all that stops um, it, it's really difficult to just be able to sit with yourself and your own thoughts and being alone but she reminded me that this is temporary. I will get through this. This is, you know, short-term pain for long-term gain. Gain, not gain. Um, and this is what I have to do. So we're looking into um, what we'll do for childcare and how next week will look for us and what, what, uh, what kind of adjustments we're gonna make. It just, it sucks. I just want to be back to normal and I feel really silly for putting out the video earlier in the week that on Monday I felt so good and did a lot of cleaning and felt like I was back to my normal routine and all those types of things and 
I partially feel like that was irresponsible to do because um, clearly it's not the right thing to do, especially I'm making these videos so people feel connected and supported and not alone and I don't want people who are only two weeks along in their recovery to feel like that's what they should be doing um when in reality the next day I feel like crap and today I feel even more like crap um so I I'm considering taking that video down but I'm also considering um making a day or two buffer in between these I've been generally um filming and uploading the same day but I think I might put a couple of days buffer in between when I film and then when I upload just to make sure that those um whatever I'm saying is is uh holding up and it, it is true because I don't want to put something out there like that and if that's the only video that someone comes across then they're feeling like they're being lazy or they should be more healed than what they are and I don't want anyone to feel like that watching my videos I want them to be a source of support and um a healthy resource so um I'm gonna think about that a little bit more and, and decide what I'm, I'm going to do um hopefully within the next couple of days I will have some results on whether this is a reoccurring UTI or just one that wasn't treated or um whatever one on the, with the swabs if that comes back negative or positive and I'm just going to take it easy from now till then um if anyone has any um books that they want to recommend any tv shows any movies that they want to recommend I am uh, in the market for those so send them my way um, I hope you guys are having a really great day. I hope that your recovery is going smoothly and I hope you're taking time for yourself to rest.